I've been asked to say a few words and lead a two minute silence. Um, firstly, I'd like to dedicate these words to my sister Rita, who sadly passed away in 2012, and to my dad, who passed away in 2011. And um, yeah, it's just my opinion. But at times, I find it strange and horrific to live in a daily struggle caused by the power hungry and greedy and to watch people make it harder still on each other. It's heartbreaking to live in a world where all we crave, all we need is food, water, shelter, safety, acceptance and love. And still, so much importance is put on material gain. Where groups are unified not by common ground but by phobias, whether that is homophobia or Islamophobia, but all that said, today has given me an overwhelming faith in human nature. And I feel lucky, uh, my friends, my family, this city, my home, <clears throat> is a rich tapestry of diversity, a patchwork of gay, straight, Asian, Muslim, Catholic, Caribbean, drug addicted, rehabilitated, young, old, often infuriating, but always, always beautiful people. And on a personal level, I'm here to stand today to make sure all those people, all my great love, aren't torn apart by division. Positive, proactive change will not happen through antagonistic ignorance, but through education, tolerance and empathy. So now, I'd just like you ask to, ask, to ask you all to stand with me in two minutes of silence. Silence for our loved ones that have passed in unjust wars and in unjust yeah, ways. No, Silence for those who battle daily in a backdrop of violence, yeah, ignorance and poverty. Oh, for the billions of lives taken at the hands of greed. Sheffield, please, unite for two minutes of peace. Right now. Thank you, Sheffield. Hey, she was wicked. You know, she's been panicking all day for that. So thank you very much. We love you, man. We love you. Well done. Wicked. <laughs>